Hey friends, welcome back to Faith Foster Fire Life. Today we're going to talk about three ways you can help kids in foster care without becoming a foster parent. Today's video is the second in our series to honor Foster Care Awareness Month. So every week this month, we are going to continue to put out videos that educate and inspire you to help the kids in foster care. So today we're going to continue with three more tips on how you can help kids in foster care and the families that care for them without becoming a foster parent yourself. So the first tip I have is to become a CASA volunteer. So CASA is an acronym. It stands for Court Appointed Special Advocate. And the role of a CASA volunteer is someone that's going to work on the behalf of the foster child. This is a person who is not going to worry about what is going on in the parents' lives, the biological parents' lives, what the foster parents want, or anything else, only what is best for the child. We all have biases, and so the courts really rely on the CASA workers to speak on behalf of the children. Kids come into care at all different ages, and a lot of them cannot speak for themselves. So a CASA uh, volunteer is someone who can get to know that child, understand um, the situation that they're in, and when it's time to go to court, they can speak on their behalf. This role is so important and so needed. There are not enough CASA volunteers. Uh, the reason is because every child that comes into foster care is assigned a CASA attorney. So there are only so many CASA attorneys available and each attorney has volunteers that help them do their job. So while there are 400,000 children in foster care, there are much fewer uh, CASA attorneys and fewer CASA volunteers. So if that's something you think you could do, you could help a CASA attorney do their job by getting to know a child and going to court and speaking on their behalf. That would be just a huge blessing and so needed in the foster care system. Along those same lines, the second tip I have to help kids in foster care without becoming a foster parent is becoming a mentor. So lots of kids come into care and um, the parent, foster parents can only do so much. And these children often need somebody else that is caring, trustworthy, reliable, and just plain fun in their lives. And being a mentor can fill that role. Um, we've had lots of friends over the years who have volunteered in that capacity. And you can volunteer to mentor a child that you're the age that you're comfortable with or the gender that you're comfortable with. Um, so you can reach out to the Boys and Girls Club and um, every state has different ways to do that. So in this video, I will link some of those down below and I'll also link the um, CASA website as well. So being a mentor is another really easy, uh, less time consuming way to um, help children in foster care and really be another adult in their life that they know they can trust, like I said, rely on um, and just build a relationship with. So if that's something you think you can do, then please, I encourage you to be a mentor to a child in foster care. The third way you can help kids in foster care without becoming a foster parent is simply to help normalize their childhood. Now, this is going to sound strange because it might have never crossed your mind before, but everything this foster child is going through is completely abnormal. It's a trauma that's happened in their life and the ability to create a more normal childhood experience is a very healthy thing that anyone around the foster child can do. So some ways that you might not be aware of that can help a foster child just feel like a normal part of a family is simply to treat them like you would treat any other child that that family has, whether it's their biological or adopted children. Just treat them exactly the same. They don't need any special treatment and they don't really want it. Um, they are already feeling like a fish out of water and they don't want any special spotlight put on them. And of course you would never um, ask the child, even if it's a teenager, um, direct questions about their situation or how they're feeling or any of that. Most likely they don't wanna talk about it, especially with people that are brand new to their lives. And um, it's also not a good idea to talk about their situation or ask questions about their situation to the foster family in front of them. 
Um, and we have, you know, we can only share so much anyway, but, um, yeah, so trying to normalize their situation as much as possible is the best thing. Um, if you have children that is, you know, their, their age, um, encourage your children to make friends with them. Um, we've had a lot of experiences where uh, our friends' kids were a little bit shy to get to know a foster kid because they knew it was a temporary uh, placement and they didn't want to, you know, make a friend with somebody they knew was going away. But um, that really, really, truly blesses um, the foster children. It makes them feel wanted. It makes them feel loved. And when they look back, they're going to remember those experiences with other kids and how you as an adult treated them in a positive way. So it will it will uh, take the sharp edges off of that foster care experience for them. And especially if this child is in a brand new um, town or uh, far away from their family or they're removed from their school system and they're in a new school, anything you can do to normalize their experience is a huge, huge blessing and something really simple. It doesn't take any extra time or money, just some thoughtfulness. So I hope that these three tips give you ideas of ways that you can help kids in foster care without becoming a foster parent yourself. And remember, we would love your comments and just to find out who's watching our videos that maybe is a foster parent or was a foster child or um, you know you have more questions and we're the resource for you. We love to answer your questions. We love to hear your experiences. And most of all, we want you to go out there and love God and love others. So if you found value in this video, give it a thumbs up and we'd love it if you would subscribe to our channel and look out for more content on foster care. Have a great day. Music